Hi everyone, I'm going to be going through the planning and structuring of your big route that you're going to be doing this week. Um, I want you to think about uh, your planning as sort of a roadmap. So we as your teachers are going on this journey with you, but you need to plan this for us. And as you can see, there are five things I want you to think about on your plan uh, for this uh, trip that we're going on. And the first thing we're looking at is um, engaging openings, okay? Now, Mrs. Green would have covered this with you, uh, which is great, so I'm not gonna cover it uh, in a lot of detail, but that's the first important thing to your planning. The next thing you're gonna look at are the signposts that you're gonna put up for us in this journey uh, that we are on, and also including techniques in your paragraphs. Um, you're going to end off your planning with some strong endings. So how do we end off our piece of writing that you leave the reader thinking about what you've said um, after they finish reading? And the most important thing, which a lot of us uh, tend to forget about, is planning to check our work. So taking that time to check what we um, have written and have we included everything that we set out at the beginning of our piece of writing. Okay, so the first thing that you want to think about is your opening paragraph and how can it engage the reader. Now, Mrs. Green has gone into detail about this, so I'm not going to cover this, like I said, in detail. Um, but what I do want you to think about when you're planning is what devices do I want to use? How can I grab the reader's attention? Do I want to start with a rhetorical question? Do I want to start with an anecdote, maybe telling them about a lie uh, that you told someone or how a lie affected you? So a nice little quick anecdote to really engage the reader in your opening uh, piece. You want to also state the intentions of your speech. So why are you writing the speech? What is the purpose? And hopefully uh, your paragraphs to follow will support what you have said in your opening. So going beyond uh, engaging the reader with your opening paragraph, you want to then develop your thoughts. So hopefully you've identified three reasons or, or three statements that you want to mention in your next three paragraphs. And um, as Ms. Peplow said in her first uh, YouTube video uh, this week, uh, things you can think about is, uh, have you ever been lied to and how, uh, what feelings came about when you were lied to, um, looking at what it means to tell a lie. So uh, one paragraph could be about that. So why do we lie? What are our intentions for lying and how does it affect the people around us? And maybe your third paragraph could be about looking at the global uh, lies, uh, what the media tells us, looking at what we see online, giving examples about that. How does that affect our lives? Uh, do we believe the lies uh, that they tell us in the media as we um, know as fake news? So plan your three paragraphs with what do I want to focus on? Each paragraph should have one main idea. I don't want you to mix them all together. Um, they should be clearly structured. And as I said at the beginning, um, of this video is we need to look at signposting. So when we start our paragraphs, we need to look at signposting words like you'll see in the corner there, personally, I feel, or recently it has come out in the media. So starting with signposting each of your paragraphs, you're really clear um, clearly identify what your intention is, what is the statement you're trying to make in the beginning and start with a signpost. So it's sort of like I said at the beginning, it's a roadmap. So we need to see where are you going? What are you trying to tell us in each paragraph? Have you structured it clearly by using those signposts? Okay, so once you have planned your four paragraphs, which is your engaging opening, your paragraph one, two, and three, which each indicate the statements that you are trying to make about uh, telling lies um, and the effects of them or whatever you want to include in each of your paragraphs, you plan them out correctly, you've included your signposts, uh, the techniques you want to use to support what you're trying to say. The next thing you want to do is, and the most important thing, is having a strong ending. Bring everything that you've planned, bring it all together um, with like I said, making sure that the reader is left thinking about what you've said, that you have supported everything you've said throughout in this final paragraph. You've mirrored what you've said in your opening to reflect what is happening and what you are saying in the ending 
uh, paragraph. Like I said, I'm not going to go into too much detail about the endings. Mrs. Green has gone into uh, a lot of detail in um, her YouTube video on engaging openings and strong endings, but it's important to look at those signposts that you end off your uh, strong ending with, like finally, fundamentally, this is what I believe in, really bring your thoughts together at the end. So now that you've planned your five paragraphs um, and you have written out your piece of writing, so you've you've done your 300 to 400 words that we've asked for, um, you do need to check. So it's so important. People always forget to do this uh, whenever they write. Um, and so what I've got here is a little checklist that um, you can look at when you reread your work. I know how painful that is, but it's so important. Uh, good writers are good checkers as well. So make sure, have you included those paragraph links? So signposts for us to follow you on your journey. Have you used a range of sentence types? So we want to see one word sentences. We want to see lovely complex sentences in there. Uh, really want to engage. So your paragraph should look like a different lens throughout. Um, have you used the correct wording when you are directing uh, your point of view to the audience? Have you used the correct words for the purpose? Remember, you're writing to argue. So are you using those words effectively? Um, the next thing is, have you used a variety of punctuation, not just your full stops and commas? We use them all the time. They are important, but try and use uh, a variation of punctuations like an exclamation mark, asking those questions, using those question marks. And if you really, really fancy, use those semicolons. Um, and then finally, check your techniques. So have you supported your ideas with the correct techniques that you've used? Have you used a lovely anecdote at the beginning of your piece of writing? Uh, those rhetorical questions get us thinking what you're trying to say. Uh, maybe even splash out with some alliteration for us, be a bit fancy there. So go through your piece of writing, plan to check at the end of your work and use my checklist that I've got there. Okay, so that is the planning and structuring of your big rights. I want you to remember the five things that I've spoken about. So make sure you have engaging openings. Make sure you're signposting throughout. So you are taking us on that journey of your thoughts and ideas throughout your speech that you're writing, including all those brilliant techniques uh, to support everything that you're going to say um, and end up with a strong ending and but most importantly make sure you plan to check your work have you included everything on the checklist that i have discussed and make sure that you submit your work on monday the deadline um 300 to 400 words to your teachers on gcse pod we look forward to seeing everything that you have written and good luck